Okay. Let's see if we're actually live. Um, well, it says it's upcoming. Oh, now it says I'm live. Okay. We going? Okay. Yeah, we're going. Cool. Let's see. Epic. If we're actually live. How does my mic sound now? Um, well, it says it's upcoming. Oh, now it says I'm live. Okay. We going? Okay. Yeah, we're going. Cool. Let's see. Epic. Actually... All right, cool. Yay. Sound sounds fine. Um, we are live. Welcome back to Advent of Code for the year. Advent of Code is an advent calendar of coding challenges through the month of December. Uh, December starts in two minutes. Well, one minute and nine seconds. So yeah, just some programming challenges. Going to be solving these for the month until I can't anymore. I think last year I made it to day 16 or 17, somewhere in there. Um, so we'll see how far I get this year. I've not done lead code in like a year, so uh, my expectations are not high, but we will see. We'll see how it goes. I've got a this kind of skeleton program set up and ready to go. And as soon as uh, it releases in like 30 seconds, I'll copy my input over to this input file and we will get started. Just like last year, I'm using Python for this. Um, it's easy. That's it. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. I was thinking about doing Go code or Golang or something. Um, but I just kind of don't feel like it. There's a lot of string manipulation stuff usually, and Python's really good for that. Five seconds, I'm excited. Love that minute code. Alrighty, what do we got? The chief historian is always present for the big Christmas sleigh launch, but nobody's seen him in months. He's visiting locations that are historically significant at the North Pole. Okay, they will mark it on their list with a star. Must be in the first place to look. And help them get 50 stars on their list before Santa takes off. Those stars by solving puzzles, yeah. Oh, so this, this is just the, okay, this is the, the outline of the whole thing. Cool. All right. Um, uh, list of locations is empty. Holding the two lists up side by side. Because it becomes clear they aren't very similar. Maybe the lists are only off by a small amount. Find out, pair up the numbers and measure how far apart they are. Pair up the smallest number in the left list with the smallest number in the right list. Then the second smallest left number with the second smallest right number. Okay. Okay, so we have two lists of numbers, and we have to pair up first smallest, first smallest, second smallest, second, second smallest, all the way down. Um, so basically, we just need to sort both of these lists, and then um, get the difference between them, and add up those distances. Okay. So this feels pretty straightforward. Um, We'll start with two lists. We'll do for L and lines. Um, a, B, we'll do, well, okay, we'll do um, So my plan is to go through each of these lines, split them and add them to one of two lists. Uh, we'll call this L and R so we don't get confused. Um, and then each number we come across, we will add to um, the left list uh, and the right list. You know, for each line, the left number will go to the left, and the right number will go to the right. Um, and then we'll sort both lists, and then we'll just go through them and find the difference. Um, so I think there's 50, right? There should be 50. Holy moly! All right, there's more than 50. All right, so that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do, uh, is this a tab or a space? It looks like it's a space. Okay, so we'll do, um, first we'll do actually line.replace all space with just a, you know what, it's, um, I'm just replacing all the spaces with a single space so that split behaves as I expect. Um, then we'll do L dot append nums zero and R dot append nums one. 
And then we'll do L becomes sorted L in ascending order perfect. And then R is sorted R. And then we'll do for I in range length of L, we will do um, diff or total plus equals. Um, I probably have to do math.abs, or it's just abs, isn't it? Abs of li minus ri, and then we can print total. And this should give us our answer for the first one. Let's see if that works with this input. Um, what do you mean? Oh, this should be line.split, not l. Silly me. Uh, and I, I forgot to cast them to int. I thought to myself, hey, I better cast them to int. And then I forgot. Um, cool. So we have to do that just to convert from string to int. Cool. Um, is the answer 11? Cool. Great. This number. Let's see. Did we get it? Yay, we got the first. Cool. Um, I don't think I mentioned before, but there's two parts. So that was part one. We're on to part two. Um, two lists are very different. Or are they? Hmm. We need to figure out exactly how often each number from the left list appears in the right list. Create, uh, calculate a total similarity score by adding up each number in the left list after multiplying it by the number of times the number appears in the right list. Okay, so we need to. Um, so I guess in this one, we're interested in the, so for the right list, we need to take the numbers and we need to put them in like a hash map or a dictionary. And then as we go through the left list, we will get the number and then multiply it by the times that it occurs. Um, so we still need to build both of our lists sort of well i guess we don't really need to actually um build the second list because we only we're only going through it once um sorry we're only using the, the numbers from the left list so we still need to split these we still need to do this we still need to append to the left but instead of appending it to the right this will be a dictionary um and we'll do if nums we'll do um Occurrences is nums one, and we'll make that an int. If nums or occurrences not in R, we'll do R occurrences become zero. And then after that, we'll do, uh, we'll increment it by one. Then we don't need to append anymore. And then I think we don't need to sort maybe but we'll see okay and then and at the end here we'll do just for num in l we can just do l not in r we can continue actually we can just do if l in r um then we want to do total plus equals l times r of l so this is the number times the number of times that it occurred and then we can this should be num plus equals num times that okay so we'll try it again with our test input or like the sample input and we're expecting to get 31 here if we did everything right cool so that's encouraging let me put this back and we'll see if this is right and if it is We'll be done early. Cool. Yay. Seven minutes. That's not so bad. Yeah, so that was pretty simple. Um, oh, sure. I'm Blue Sky Twitter Mastodon. Nice. Good for them. All right. Let's see if anybody is on my leaderboard. Um, private leaderboard. Yes. <gasps> Silver Slither wins the day. I feel like I feel like you were here last year. I don't remember, but um, good to see you back if that's the case. Cool. All right. Yeah. So that's day one. Um, yeah. Like I said, pretty easy. 
I feel like I spent more time reading the problem and just writing the code than figuring out what I had to do. Uh, but that's kind of the case for, for many of these. Um, the difficulty ramps up pretty quickly from here, though. So tomorrow will be much more difficult. And from then on, it'll just get harder and harder. I'll probably give up, I would guess, around, I don't know, day 17, I think I said I made it last time. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to end it there. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place.